Hello everybody and welcome back to the first episode of Skyrim Modded Special Edition. So, we're going to start off right here. Um, we're going to quest House of Horrors. I do not remember the exact equivalent of this quest, but we're going to start here. And then we are going to play through the entire game. So, without further ado, let's get right after it. Something's inside the house. Come on. We're getting to the bottom of this. Come out. Something's inside the house, here. you say. There's another door. See if you can get it open. Stendar's mercy. This isn't an ordinary case. We have to get help. Yeah! Yikes. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him. Sorry, bro. You will die. Oh. Yes. Your reward is waiting for you, mortal. Further down. Creepy voice. Okay, creepy voice. Got it, creepy voice. First, let me take his stuff. Cool. Alright, so creepy voice says we have a we have a reward waiting downstairs. This was used for Daedra worship, huh? Oh, is this uh I think this is this is what I'm thinking it is. No spoilers. No spoilers. Well, let's just make sure we grab all the food. And we are going to cook all of this, not the stale stuff. We are going to cook all of this. So what we have is the modded, I modded the crap out of Skyrim, that's pretty much where we're at, um, 98 different mods, we have done a lot from textures yes, to further into the bowels, to character overhauls, Pretty much overhauling everything. We have an EMB on top of it all, weather mod. Using natural view Tamriel. Natural natural view Tamriel. Let me get that right. We are using obsidian weathers for the weather and the lighting. Then a ver a bunch of different mods for armors and weapons and imperious character creation overhaul. So there'll be a there'll be a list in the description of the different mods. Okay. Oh, there we go. So close. Your prize is waiting. I don't know if I want this prize. Hey, look. Cool. Did you think Molek Bal? The Lord of Domination would so easily reward you. What do you see from that little cage? Speak. Yes, altar. it's an altar. Men would come and sacrifice the wretched in my name. The weak would be punished by the strong. But a Daedric Lord has his enemies, and my rival Boethia had her priest desecrate the altar until you came. 
You want revenge on Boethia, it sounds like. Revenge? No. I want submission. I want the priest who did this to bend his knee and give me his soul. He comes by to perform Boethia's insulting rites at my altar, but he's been missing. Captured and bound, left to rot. Save him. Let him perform his right one more time. And when he does, we will be waiting for him. Okay, so he wants us to go get the priest and then come back and my guess is sacrifice him to Molag Ball. So, okay. Whatever you say, Big Daddy Molag. My, uh, forgive me, my Daedric, my Daedric lore is kind of rusty, but I believe he's exactly what he was just talking about, you know, about punishing the weak if you're strong. I think he's pretty much all about just death. This death and destruction everywhere, chaos. We gotta come back here anyway. So let's go find the priest. It's still raining outside, so let's try to be quick. We do have frost fall on, so weather matters, I know. Gotta go. Wow, he's all the way over there, huh? We're going on an adventure. Man. I think the only thing we'd have to fix is we'd have to get LOD textures. So we might I might look at doing that before the next video comes out. Oh, this must be a mine over here. Let's go check out what's going on. We'll go discover it. What happened to you, Tom? The Force Warren have taken Trollskager mine. We're the only ones left. You two head inside to get some rest. I'll send word to the Jarl. Damn Force Warren. Only a matter of time before they hit here, too. We'll come back. Don't worry. Don't worry. We will come back and save you. Feels slow. So we have a decent journey ahead of us. All right. Solitude is this way. So we definitely need to do some uh, some lods. Like, see this bear wasteland right here? Oh, triggered. My immersion. Okay, though. Travel over here. We gotta go. All right, we gotta go across the river. Okay. We'll follow this road as long as we can. So, so we're gonna go get the priest. We're gonna come back. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the traveling out because this is a very long way unless something happens. If you do want to watch the entire the entire experience, I will be uploading the raw footage as well. So, let's keep that in mind. Hello. Oh no, I'm going to die. Oh. Oh, that hurt. That hurt really bad. Oh man. Right, this Yikes, dude.
Ouch. Like that. It's some random force horn. We definitely want the boots because the boots is better than what we have. I think the armor is too. Got another one. Ouch. We're gonna bleed out, so we must use one of these. Gotcha. Cool. <laughs> oh, hey, guy. That is better than what we have, I believe. I think it. Let's see. Yep. It is by a crap load. Hey, how's it going? First time in Markarth, traveler. Take my advice. You see anything, don't get involved. The city guard will take care of it. See? There you go. Getting involved. Don't ask too many. Head on it. Keep your nose clean and you won't have any Interesting. problems. Alright. It's another mine. Right up there. This is Pavo's house. Alright. Anyway. All right, so it doesn't look like anything else is really going to happen, so I'm going to go ahead and... What's that? Anyway, we're going to go ahead and fast forward to when we get there. So one thing happened while I was traveling. We did come across another cave, so I think what we're going to do is, well, first we're going to level. Let's go ahead and level. We are going to take... We need smithing 25 for that, so we're not going to take that. We are going to take... Four points into archery. a point in light armor. Alright. Let's go ahead and go into the cave. See what we can find. Is someone there? If there is a tripwire, we are fucked. Alright, let's see. So, we'll move on. We'll go in. Oh. Okay. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. Let's... This on the bar. Okay. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, I missed. Are there? Oh no. Oh no. No. Please. 
Oh no. Oh no, I missed. No, you can't. You're right. Let's just... Nothing happened. Okay. That's spear, huh? Knows where I am, so. Hello? Uh, you're right here, aren't you? You're like. Fuck. So confused. What are you doing up there? Well, I mean, at least the body came down so I can loot it. Alright. That was interesting. thing we gotta do, we gotta bring a torch out. Line the cliff towers. Wow, she was right there. Check out the spear. Yikes. That was a yikes. screwed here. Maybe he won't follow us back into the cave. Uh, what? 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 Okay. Okay. It's just, uh, yeah. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just go. Let's just go do the quest. That sounds like a plan to me. Again. Right. 
so we have four sworn boots to put on. Might as well put the armor on too. But is there a priest? Just oh, it's Maik. Wishes you well, Maik. What's up, homeboy? Maik once walked to High Hrothgar. So many steps, he lost count. Yeah, me too, man. A lot of steps up there, isn't there? It's really murder on the lakes. Maik can travel fast across the land. Some lazy types take carriages. It is all the same to Maik. Yeah, I prefer the carriage, Maik. You got them strong Khajiit legs and that agile frame. Once Maik is tired now. Go bother somebody else. <sighs> Fine. Yeah, <laughs> such a great guy, that Maik. We'll catch you later, Maik. What a nice guy, that Maik. Let's go see what other trouble we can get ourselves in. We gotta be almost there, right? Alright, yeah, we're almost there. You. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? Mm -hmm. It's gonna. Yeah. I am gonna go cry. Hey, found an egg. All right. So we gotta go over there. Oh. Uh... Cool. As long as we don't run into a bear, we'll be Gucci. What's this guy? If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, he's a stormcloak. Head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Oh, yeah? What? I want your armor. We have, that's it. Right there. We have chosen sides. We need to restore order. Oh, it's heavy armor. Yikes. We killed this guy for no reason. Take that though. That could be useful. They have no idea I killed their buddy, so let's just uh, keep it that way. All right. Hey. What do you need? Sell stuff. You don't sell anything I need. Can you buy stuff? Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, uh, shit. So they're gone now. Alright, well, I guess give me those back. So you sell stuff. Okay, let's see. What can we do? We need to get a sword. Ebony, I don't have any ebony. Free steel. 
Three steel, one quicksilver. What should we do? Let's uh let's look at getting a sword. Just got a bow, right? Sword should be all the way at the bottom. All right, go. Two iron, one iron ingot, two steel, and leather strips. Where do you go? There he is. Take a look. I don't remember how many loaded strips we need, so we will buy five. And we will buy two of those. And give those. And one of these. Two of these. Hey, we've used all of our money. Sword. want to make hmm I don't want to make that just because it's broken we need to make this so we'll make some arrows we'll just make arrows we got a steel sword for now. Let's see, fur hood, no armor. Need one more leather for the ranger hood, so let's do that. What's up, bro? What do you need? I'm back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch what I'm doing. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Alright. Now that'll be good and dark by the time we get there. cabin has been discovered there is a cabin cabin here 
this? Clay deposit. Is this hearth fire stuff? Hey, you're just never gonna stop, are you, bud? Alright, let's uh. Yeah, okay, that's hearth fire, so we'll just drop it. We're not gonna do that quite yet. I'm gonna be getting a Fane home. Knock knock, Ariel. Have you heard the tale of Ariel and Pallor? They were mortals, brother and sister, who made a wager on the nature of man. Ariel, kind-hearted and pure, vampire. believed that man was a builder, and his failures were the foundation of progress. Pallor, cynical and measured, believed that the soul was constantly eroding, and that foundation would soon collapse. Yet only time could tell the truth of it. So they entombed themselves deep in an ancient ruin, and cast a spell that turned a single night into a thousand years. Sting. So what happened? When Ariel awoke, she rushed outside to greet the new age. She found cities that kissed the heavens and ships that walked upon the waves. In towns, she saw faces creased not by war, but by the broadness of a smile. Yeah, what about Pelor? What happened to him? Ah, in Ariel's excitement, she'd forgotten about her brother. But not for long. Certain that she had won the wager, she ran back to the ruins to tell him the news. Yet, when she opened Pallor's coffin, she found it empty. Save for a wooden stake and a pile of dust. She lost more than a wager. She lost her brother and a friend. Yes. Sometimes I wonder if this is another one of his tricks. Oh no. As if one day he'd walk through that door and it'd be like he never left. Well. But such thoughts are the foolishness of an idle mind. And I've been idle for far too long. Yeah. <sighs> Not in the way you're implying. You see, Pallor hasn't won our wager. Not entirely. Society may always be cynical, but I refuse to be. So, why are you here? I've always had a busy mind. And so I try to keep it occupied. This is hardly the cathedral of knowledge the Arcanium is, but it serves its purpose. Knowledge, bah. But it does serve its purpose. It's the perfect place to hide and get drunk. Nah, do this one. It must be hard living in this remote cabin. I appreciate the concern, but I have my books. And that's enough. Oh, yeah? It was Pallor to become a vampire. <laughs> he called it a spell to ward off time. I never thought of it as malicious. My brother made sure I would never see its trappings. Okay. Well, kind of good, bro. You know, making it so you didn't see the bad side of it. So, all right. What can I do? Can I do anything to help? Why, yes. There may be. Given my condition, neither has returned in a fortnight, however, and I'm beginning to worry that they may be in jeopardy. Oh. That may be, but I have been dead for a long time, and your concern should be with the living. Lila and Herodes went fishing near the coast of Dawnstar. 
In my madness, I told them I longed for slaughterfish. Perhaps one of the guards has seen them. Okay. If you do head to the city, then you have my gratitude. I can only hope that virtue still rules the hearts of Lila is an absent. Don't worry. Child. There's so perhaps this is all a misunderstanding. Absolutely nothing to worry about in all the the men racism men are totally filled with virtue and nothing but virtue. Luckily for you, elves still still hold true to some sort of virtue, so we're not just going to kill people. Fuck off, mud crab. Always mud crabs. Uh-oh. I'm feeling chilly, you don't say. Hey, a mud crab. Hey, I'm gonna pick you just so you stop making noise. I use what? Well, oh, create item. Okay, use instincts. Dead now. Okay, cool. Sneaky, sneaky. Cool, we've made it. Oh no. know I'm here. He does. Ow. Yes. Thanks. Uh, ah, yeah. wait for the bleeding to stop. We'll take a nappy nap. Just a quick nappy nap. Four swarm bow. Alright. So supposed to be a priest here. Oh, look. You there. Are you here to kill me? Slay the mighty Lowgrove while he sits down <clears throat> helpless. Uh, no, I'm actually here to rescue you. Rescue? <laughs> no one knew where I was when I was taken. Who's the dark mistress sent you? Ha! <laughs> now tell me the one about the troll who gives gifts to good little boys and girls. You? A servant of the king of corruption? 
Has the beast's standards fallen so far? I have a choice. Yeah, you can go ahead and stay right here. You there? Are you here to kill me? Slay? Coward. You're nothing. Nothing! Don't worry, I'll be back. Eh, let's take him now. You there? Rescue. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask questions. Cut me. Oh, freedom. Now get out of my way. I have a task to attend to. Alright. So my guess is he's just going to be stuck there forever. So we are just going to go ahead and fast travel back to Markarth. We'll see if the guy's down here. I am very hungry. Okay. Slam some stew in our face. Let's see what we got. Fish soup. Face slam. Goat cheese. Face slam. I can have a bit more. Okay. Good. No, not yet. What about a nice raw tomato? Water. Got it. No longer thirst. Still hungry though. Is that enough? Cool. Alright. Come on, priest boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The great master demands sacrifice. We're gonna shoot him in the back of the face. That's what we're gonna do. It's right, right in the back of the face. up dude what you yes me mortal i give you my mace in all its rusted spitefulness it's rusted spitefulness crush the spirit from logroth's bones make him bend to me well, you done got it now done 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 it rusty mace you have done done it Donald, Daniel. Oh, this mace sucks. Don't worry. <laughs> you mortals and your frail limp pathetic bodies. Try it again. Doing it again? I won't surrender. Never should have come here. Interesting. Swing. I mean, Swing. my arms are short. No more. No more. I submit for my mom. I submit. Oh, he submits. You bend to me. Yes. You pledge your soul to me. Yes. You forsake the weak and pitiful Boethia. Yes. You're mine now, Logroth. Kill me. The mace of Molek Bal. I give you its true power, mortal. 
When your enemies lie broken and bloody before you, know that I will be watching. Oh, thank you. Now, I have a soul in oblivion that needs claiming. Take care of the house while I'm gone. <laughs> I can get another gold brand. Cool. Now we have a weapon that we need to find a house to store it in. And I have a second gold brand apparently. That's cool. We're just gonna drop that because that's not supposed to happen. Cool. it we have to do anything else nope all right what do we gotta do so we have to talk to this guy so we'll do that next we will do that on the next on the next episode thank you guys for coming by and checking out the episode uh, before you leave this is what we ended up getting so we got gold brand um, and the mace of Molag ball so gold brand is a katana it burns a target for 15 points of damage. Targets on fire take extra damage, and it does 15 points of damage. So it does 15 points and burns the target for 14 points. Mace of Molag Ball does 25 points of stamina damage, 25 points of magicka damage, and if the target dies within 3 seconds, it fills a soul gem. So if you want to go into enchanting, this is a good mace to have. So as always, thank you for coming by. This is episode one of Mega Modded Skyrim. So, yeah. Catch you next time, guys. Episode two coming up soon.